there guys welcome to this video tutorial to for the pro business theme for WordPress and what I'm going to do in this tutorial is to show you how to create these video parallax and the image parallax um, effects on the theme so you can create visually stunning pages with our theme so what I'm going to do here is I want to recreate this page and show you how I created this video parallax effect and also the image parallax effect so what I've got here is I've got a demo page if I just close some windows here so that's the page that we're going to edit so if I just close this here so what I've done here is I've created a, a demo page which is ready for me to start adding these parallax effects on so I've already put the menu on there and I've already got the single image on there so you can see here that I'm, I've already got the the building blocks for this page so if I if I know so the first part that I'm going to do is I'm going to put the image parallax on because the image parallax is the easiest one to um, to show you how to use so again just going back to this page here this is this effect here at the bottom of the video parallax the image parallax that we're going to show you how to add it so if I go to my demo page you can see here there's no image underneath the menu so if we go on to the edit for this uh, demo page and what we're going to do is we've, we've already got our elements on here for the menu and for the single image so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a row so if I click add row and we get another row underneath here so the first thing that I want to do is I need to edit the settings on this row which is, is where we edit the parallax details so if I click the edit button and then what we need the first thing that we need to do is we need to change the raw style to a custom style so it'll give us more options down here as I scroll down so once I scroll down here the first thing that we need to do because we're doing a, a parallax image is we need to add the background image so I'll click on this here and then just as our media library loads now it's always a good idea to get your elements together now the image that I'm going to use if I just open this up here in Photoshop for you is this image here that we downloaded from iStock so I've just closed that and I've already got it uploaded to my media manager so I'm just going to click on that there and we're going to set that image so we've got that image set as the background now there's, there's more settings as we go down here so background position top leave that it is background repeat no repeat so we want it as a full width parallax the cut background cover we set the words cover in there so that gives us um, a CSS setting that allows the image to resize with the uh, browser window so then padding top padding bottom I'll just leave that as it is for now because I just want to show you how that works once we visually see something in the front end uh, and then we'll leave top margin bottom margin we'll leave that for now enable parallax we need to turn that on because it's a parallax effect then the parallax speed this is a scale from 0 0.1 up to uh, number one and this is the different speed to, to set your layer on top of the parallax image so if we just set this to 0 0.4 we'll set that up for now so we've got that there so if we save that so we've got our parallax image set on the row now so what we need to do next is we need to add the text block that's on top of there so if we add text block through visual composer now the first thing I'll do is I'll use this text so if I just select this text here I'm going to center it I'm going to make it a heading one and I'm going to change the text to white just so we can see it on top of the image so this is just a quick demo to show you putting text on there so if I save that now so if I update this page and then if we go to the front end of the website and update the demo page that we're working on you will see here now at the bottom we've got the parallax row that we created and we've got the text on top of the row so now we need to bulk this out so that we can actually see more of the parallax image so what we need to do is if I go back onto the page onto the edit for the page I need to go and edit the row and then if we scroll down and we need to change the padding so we actually change the padding here so if we change this to 150 150 and then save that and then if we update that and then go to the the demo page refresh the demo page and there you can see now we can actually see more of the image 
and the parallax effect with the text on top of the background layer. So what I'm going to do now is that's that's adding text. So we've got the text on top of the parallax. I'm actually going to change that to an image now. So if I go back to the uh, to edit the page and then we go into the, edit the actual text block that we placed on there with Visual Composer. And then if I just click into the editor here and select all the text, I'm going to delete that. I'm just going to click the center button so we're centering what we're putting onto the page. I'm going to add media so we can actually put images on there as well. So I've actually got a, an image that I created earlier in Photoshop, which is a PNG file of text with a, a slight shadow on it. So I'm going to insert that image. And then once that image is on there, if we click the save button and then update that page again. And then if we go to the front page of the website, and then refresh this page. We can then scroll down and you will see the image on top of the parallax uh, image and the parallax effect. So you can see there it gives it a nice nice visual look there with the uh, the shadow just behind the text. So I, I do like adding images to the uh, above parallax effects but again it just depends on, on what your design is and and how you want to create that. So we actually need to just create a gap between the menu here on the parallax effect. So I'm just going to add a gap at the bottom of this menu here. So if I just click on here and add a gap, and we'll put 40 in there. Click save. And if we update that, and then go and refresh the home page, uh, the demo page that we're building here. You can see there we just separated the menu from the actual parallax. So it's just building this page up. So now we need to work on on the actual video parallax which is up here which is uh, is what we've got here so the next thing we need to do is back into edit the page and we need to create another row so if we add the row and if we just drag this up here so it's above the elements in the middle of the page and then this is where um, creating the video so that the first thing that I'll do here is I'll just show you this this file here is a video that we purchased from iStock you can see here it's a it is a high res video and the size of this video is 367 megabytes so it's obviously too big um, for the website so what we do is the way that we use this is we have it's a free download is this and it's called Myro video converter and all you actually do is just drag your files in there and you choose the format of the video that you want to uh, export now we would always it's, again, it's down to the file size, but we for, for the demo purpose here, we've used WebMSD. If you use WebMHD, you obviously get a better quality video, but the file size is slightly bigger, so you just need to determine whether the file size is too big for the actual page. So we, we've used the SD one for this demo, and this that's the file here, so it creates the WebM file. So once you've got that WebM file, you actually need to, if I just show you our FTP here so we've got our FTP and if you upload the video the WebM file that it creates and upload it to your um, uploads so your WordPress content uploads 2014 or one so obviously you put it into your directory and then the next thing that we do there is go to edit this page and if I just go to edit the settings on the pro on this uh, row that we've got here so again we need to change this to custom um, so we're not using a background image this time so this is fine so background position top background repeats fine full width yes so we're going to say cover same again so disabled so fixed background we're going to enable that padding top padding bottom because you already know what this does now i'm going to set this to 100 straight away there so we get that uh, the margins we can leave for now, animations we can leave, enable parallax, yes, so we turn that on so we get the parallax speed, so I'm going to change that to 0 0.4, and then this is, we've got different video formats that you can upload, but we always recommend using the WebM because it's a new format, and it does work across all the different browsers, so we would always recommend, uh, advise you to do this, so again, using the Myra video, if you just do a search on Google for the Myra video converter and it's a free download so you'll be able to convert your videos into this format and then what we need to do is we need to paste in the full URL for where this video is so I'm just going to get this URL here 
so I'm going to paste that URL in there. Some of this is blurred out, obviously, so you can't see where where, where our uh, URL is. But uh, if we save that now, so the video is in there on that row. So the next thing we need to do is we need to add our text block. So we click on the plus icon in Visual Composer and get the text block up. So the same, I'm going to do the same again here. I'm going to delete that text. I'm going to center the uh, pointer and then I'm going to add media because I'm going to put an image straight on top of there, which I've already uploaded. So again, I just select that image, insert that into the page. Let's wait for that to add it. And then we click the save button, update that. And then once we go back to the demo page and reload that page, we will now have the video parallax at the top of the page with the image on top of that. And you can see there, how the image is moving at a different speed to the uh, video on the parallax. Um, so what I'll do is I just need to make that gap there. So same again, I'm going to go here and I'm just going to edit the row and I'm going to put a margin bottom 40 pixels. Save that, update that. And then if we go to refresh the demo page so you can see there how quickly and easily I created those two parallax effects. So the video parallax and the image parallax. So I hope this video uh, tutorial was helpful for you guys. If you have any problems or need any support, please contact us at support at cmssuperheroes.com and we'll be more than happy to help. Thank you.